Today I'm going to be talking about this real weird phenomenon happening in the NFT world and their whole, not just ETH-based NFTs, also Soul-based NFTs. So if you didn't know, Soul was introduced to OpenSea not too long ago. Obviously they had their own marketplace, which Magic Eden is the best one. There's this real weird mix currently and it actually caused a lot of these NFTs to pump quite high, such as reptilian renegades was down trading at like 0.5 sol and then now the floor's up to 30 sol but what i wanted to show you was this real weird thing that's happening and OpenSea's already taken action on it we'll probably see a lot more action being taken in the coming days um but let me just jump into what it was we've got okay bears here which has been pumping quite high due to a few um people are expecting it to basically be the bored ape of Soul, even though there's already a couple of Soul projects existing like that, but they, this is a new, cool, trending one, and a lot of influences got on it. The floor is 220 Soul, which is roughly 11 to $12,000, I believe. Depends what Soul is at the point that you're watching this. Luckily, we can see the prices, and then also Trait Sniper gives me the ETH, so it's roughly 6 ETH, as you can see. And what came out was there were a few derivative projects which happens with everything, but this one took off. It was called Not OK Bears. It has been since taken down off OpenSea, but this is what it is. They basically flipped them, kind of like what Funks did. You can see this is OK Bears, this is Not OK Bears. They flipped them. And there's a few giveaways here, but you can see the floor, at least like the residual floor in OpenSea when they got taken down was 0 0.29, 269. The floor is currently this because of obviously lots of fear, uncertainty, doubt, DMCA, not being able to sell, not as many eyes on it, etc. This is something I stumbled across on Twitter. Uh, probably my best trade ever given the entry cost and time. Minted 90 not okay bears uh, early this morning, blah, blah, blah. Um, they were free. So in total, 90 bears cost me $30 in gas. In less than 12 hours, I sold 70 of them for 21k. So he was still holding 20 and he went from $30 to 21k in 12 hours. As you can see, this is the price. This is his wallet, which this is crazy. And then this also sort of brought more eyes to not okay bears. This is their reaction here. Well, it was a 50-50. We didn't know what would happen. OpenSea just decided to take us down. You can see him on looks rare, which is where I am here. And then obviously X2, Y2. But this caused not only not okay bears to happen, it caused a few free mints to basically explode yesterday including, which I'm actually unsure if they've been taken down, but here's one, uh, Moonquacks. It was a failed free mint. It, I think it launched a couple of days previous, and then because all these free mints, they're not okay bears, they're not reptilian reptiles, they blew up. This blew up, which for a free mint, and if you click on them, I know there's a certain reason for this, but they're like a small image. They're a derivative of moon birds, but these sold out, and they also, they were sitting, they hit like a 0 0.5 floor, 0.05 floor, and the volume that was happening, you can even see the volume that's happening as I'm recording this, is insane. And this has been out for 12 days, considering the climate of the market, um, which is super interesting to me, purely the reason I'm making this, not because not OK Bears got taken off open, so that's not the reason I'm making this. The reason is I, because the climate is so rocky at the moment for random projects like Baby OK Bears to do 500 ETH in volume, like not reptilian renegades to get up to a floor of 0.05 for not okay bears to get up to a floor of 0.4 like all these to happen where they're derivatives they're really degenerate they're all, all of all of the above for them to exist and get that many sales they got four i think they got like two to three thousand sales in an hour not okay bears on OpenSea. which if you didn't know apparently we're in a bear market which we are crypto's way down nft volumes down you can actually always tell this because of peak because of gas prices gas has been so cheap which just literally means there's not as many trades there's not as much volume there's there's nowhere near as much crypto trading uni swapping open sea trading stable coin trading axie playing that's all down which leads to cheaper gas during peak time because this right now is these are the times in usa which is peak trading times normally around this time i, I basically don't do anything except for maybe buy a few nfts if they're cheap or they're pumping but gas is 26 I minted a minted, put two to three year uh, registration on an ENS domain, and it cost me $15 to do because gas was so cheap. So this does still prove that there's nowhere near as much volume on anything as expected. But then there's these not okay bears. There's these things that go absolutely crazy on OpenSea, which is good. It's also bad because a lot of people will lose money on these because they will go to zero. They can get uh, takedowns. They 
all of the above. Moon Quacks is still like there's so much volume on it, so much, so many trades on it, but it's still not. It's turned twenty dollars into eighty dollars. Uh, there's been eight thousand total trades on it, which is very high. Where's not OK Bears? Let's have a look at how many total trades OK Bears had. OK Bears had thirty three thousand transfers on it, and just to compare to like a uh, something that pumped during the bear market, which is actually this is a great one because it was a it got up to a roughly a 1.5 E floor. They had 34,000 in their time since they've uh, launched, which was around January. And they're not okay. Bears in a bear market has the same amount of transfers as these guys who hit like a super high floor and was actually a super big NFT for a while. Advice, just be careful with what you're doing. Um, good signs to come because there's that still volume and people wanting to trade and people wanting to sort of gamble in this market means the smart investors, the people who know what they're doing will still make money. Um, but just be careful, obviously, saying that I have purchased a couple of moon cracks just for fun, because there's been no fun in the market in the last couple of weeks. But stay vigilant, also derivatives, especially ones where they literally just flip them, steer clear from, or unless you have an exit plan, don't buy them thinking they're going to go to three, go to four. There's only, I think I saw a stat on Twitter, there's only like 100 ETH-based NFT projects that are one ETH plus floor. So just be aware of that. Just be aware that not, not everything is going to go to one ETH. If I sort by floor price trade, let's just do last seven days. Just You can scroll, and if I keep scrolling, you can see here I'm already at under one ETH. So if you expect everything to go to two to three ETH, it's not going to happen. There are only a few actually at that price from three to here, and they're all big names. Cool Cats is in at 3.8. Come join our Discord, come join our Alpha community, and we'll see you in the next video.